G'day folks, Ben from Snowy's here today showing you how to set up this Quest Air Gazebo 3 with just eight pegs and a pump. Get it. The Quest Air Gazebo 3 has an air filled frame that makes it simple to set up compared to other 3x3 gazebos. Pumps up through just one pour and requires just eight pegs to make it secure. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel. So make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. So this is the Quest Air Gazebo 3 packed in its bag. This is straight out of the box. It hasn't been set up yet. As you can see, this is a three by three meter gazebo, but packs up to half the length and half the weight of a lot of regular gazebos. This is about 70 centimeters long by about 30 by 30 centimeters at 11 and a half kilos. Comes with this handy carry bag. It's got a little mesh pocket on the back here so you can keep some accessories in there if you like. I'll start by showing you what comes in the bag and then we'll get it set up. Got the contents of the bag in front of me here. So the bag does have instructions in it, which is pretty straightforward. It's pretty much peg it out and pump it up, but we'll run through that in a sec. This is the uh, whole gazebo all packed up here. So the canopy, the frame and the floor all packed up together. Come strapped together with these straps here so you can bundle it all up in the bag. Bag of pegs, they're quite good pegs as well. Quite thick pegs with a pointed end and there's a little repair patch in here as well in case you need it for the frame. But if you look after it properly, you won't need that. And then the pump. So it comes included with this pump and this is what you need to set it up. Now there's three parts to the pump as it comes in the kit, the pump itself, a little pressure release valve and the hose here. So we need to put the pressure release valve on which releases the pressure once it um, reaches seven PSI, which is the recommended inflation pressure for the gazebo so you can't over inflate it. So we assemble these, screw this on like this, doesn't matter if that sits to the side. Then the hose screws onto the other side of the little pressure release valve and that's set up. We've then got this end here with the attachments we need to pump up the gazebo. I'm gonna put the pump aside for now. What I need to do first is spread this section of the gazebo out. It's gonna be square and I've gotta put a peg, so four pegs, one in each corner. Quest have given us two different types of pegs in the kit here, so eight in total. You've got these four heavier pegs here with the pointed ends. I'm gonna save them for the guy ropes because they're gonna be sturdy in the ground. So I'll put these aside and I'm gonna use these smaller pegs just to peg the corner of the gazebo out. So you've got an eyelet or a, a grommet in each corner here. Four of those, one in each corner, and then we can pump the frame up. There's two inflation points for the gazebo, one on opposite uh, corners, so diagonally opposite over there. I've sealed the other one up because you only need to inflate from one point. If I'm pumping air in here and the other one's undone, I'm just gonna be losing air out the other side. But there's two ports so the deflation is really quick. Now to pump this up, there's two parts to each of these valves. You've got the top cap here, which we put on once it's all pumped up. This middle section here, which has got a little one-way valve on it, which allows us to pump it up without losing any air. We screw that into the center part of the valve and it's into this bit that we place our pump. Looking at the end of the hose here, Got two attachment points. They both have a little locking pin to attach into the end of the hose here. And I'm gonna put this attachment with the little sort of grommet or spigot on the end there, but I can also use this point here. This one will just push in the middle and seal into place. But ideally, because I've got the pressure release valve on the, the pump, I'm gonna use this to actually screw it into place. So this will screw onto the valve there, so there's no chance of it coming out while I'm inflating it. So we're now ready to pump the gazebo up. There's a valve on top of the pump here, and you can see the, the green zone here is between six and eight PSI, so the ideal inflation pressure is seven PSI. It's gonna cut out, or as I'm pumping, once it reaches seven PSI, this little valve here is gonna release pressure anyway, so I'm not gonna be able to go above around seven PSI. So what I need to do now is start to pump this up. When it gets to a certain point, I'm gonna to have to step inside the middle of the gazebo, just push the center up a little bit, and then I can finish it off. So that was about 80 to 90 pumps to get to this point here. It's gonna be a little bit floppy until we put the guy ropes out. These are gonna create the most stability that we need. So it's almost at seven PSI now. As I start pumping this, we'll hear this little valve releasing pressure as it reaches the seven PSI point. All right, so that's, I can feel air coming out through here as I'm pumping now, and the PSI gauge is creeping just over eight PSI, but it's not letting me go much past that green area there. Also important to note, this is a double action pump. So it pumps on the upstroke and the downstroke. So 
a little bit of effort to pump the air in, but it's mostly up now to make this stable. It looks wobbly at the moment, but as soon as we've put these guy ropes in place, it's gonna create a really stable structure. So I'll take the pump off, seal this up, get my larger pegs and put all these guy ropes out. So these guy ropes are what give the air gazebo its stability. Really important, these are put in place with sturdy pegs because it's what's gonna hold it in place. So I've got my heavy duty pegs in here. This is a fixed steel D-ring that's attached in within the guy rope here. These guy ropes are attached to the gazebo in three places. So we've got it at the base here and then part way up the wall here and then at the very top up here as well, all sort of reinforced. And then part way down on this gray section, there's another D-ring here, which allows it to adjust. So as this moves in the wind, this moves through this ring here. So you've got four guy ropes like that to give this um, stability. So while that's the gazebo all set up, you do have the option to remove this floor. Now this stays integrated, but it's easy to remove this if you like. Just unclip these here and the floor comes out. This stays into place because we've pegged it over this side here. So if you did want to make your pack size even smaller, you could leave this floor out or use a different ground sheet if you like, and just use this portion of the gazebo. All you need to do when you set it up is make sure that you space these corners correctly. The benefit of leaving this floor set up here means when you peg out four corners, you know that once this floor is tight across here, you've got the right spacing. So that's the Quest Air Gazebo all set up really easy. This air pole frame makes it uh, easy to set up. You don't have all those metal frames and concertina sort of frames to worry about. Sets up easy, gives you the stability and packs up really small. So pack up is easier than a setup. Uh, Quest recommend everything in reverse. Now I could just let the frame down and pull all the pegs out afterwards if I like, but I'm actually gonna pull all the guy rope pegs out first and then secure the guy ropes with these little Velcro straps here so they're not hanging around. I can then undo the valve to let the air out of the frame. So you can see the frames collapse down now and we've got one point over there where air can escape. Additionally, if we open the valve on this side, it means there's two points at which air is escaping from the frame. So I can pretty much roll it up from any point and all the air is gonna push out of this valve here and the one on the opposite corner to make sure we pack it up nice and small to get it back in the bag. So the next thing I wanna do is pull the pegs out of each corner and then we can start rolling it up considering how the air is going to escape out of the valves. So we've got two valves, one on opposite corners here. Now we've got to remember if we end up rolling this pole here towards that corner and there's air caught in it, it can't escape out that side there. So two ways I can think of doing it, either roll it all up, roll it one way to squeeze the air out, then roll it back the other way to squeeze the air out as well. What I'm gonna try though is considering I want the air in this pole to go towards the valve on that corner there and the air in this pole to go towards the valve, uh, so the air in this pole to also go towards that valve, I wanna kind of push everything over towards the top here. So I'm gonna bunch all the inner fabric and everything up to here so that as I'm rolling, the air that's in that pole there that won't escape is going to be pushed up towards this way and the air that's in this pole here is going to push sideways and out towards the valves on that side. Sounds good in theory, we'll see how it goes. So we've put our two compression straps around the gazebo here. I've got my, my pump and pegs packed up next to it. Um, I can feel a little bit of air in there still, but in saying that, it has packed up and gone back into the bag really easily and you could even fit the sidewall accessories in the bag with this, if you like. I can fit the pump and the pegs back in there too, nice and comfortably. So this does up without getting all the air out of the frame really easily. You've got a couple of compression straps over the top here as well. So with a bit of practice, you perfect getting all the air out, but I'd recommend just squishing it as you go. Squish out as much air as you can before you roll it. You've got two valves to squeeze it all out of. If you don't, you're still gonna be able to fit it in the bag pretty easily. That is the Quest Air Gazebo 3, really easy to set up, even easier to pack away. Check them out online at snowies.com.au.